I'm Dr. Moran, Building Principal. Good morning, my name is Mrs. Nelson. I'm the nurse here at Holman Middle School. I'm Dr. Jewett, Assistant Principal, covering sixth graders with last names A through J. Hi, I'm Officer Wright, I'm your School Resource Officer. Hi, I'm Miss Calva, and I teach sixth grade science. Hi, I'm Mrs. Kim, and I teach 6th grade math. Hi, I'm Mr. Loyett, and I teach 6th grade social studies. Hi, I'm Mr. Shea, I teach 6th grade ELA. Hi, my name is Ms. Bowersox, and I teach ELA, social studies, and reading intervention for Pirate Academy. Hi, I'm Mr. Kim, I teach 6th grade social studies. Hey kids, I'm Mrs. Strebel and I teach sixth grade science. Hi, I'm Mrs. Defani and I teach math and science for Pirate Academy. I'm Mrs. Meyer, I teach sixth grade math. Hi, I'm Dr. Schnappmeyer. I am the sixth grade principal for uh, students with the last name uh, that begins with K through Z and then I have all of seventh grade. Hi, I'm Mrs. Meyer. I'm the sixth grade counselor. that we have is how are we going to be able to find everything at home? If you are nervous on how you're going to get around the school and know where your classes are, you can just ask an EPIC leader who are actually trained to show sixth graders around and they'll be wearing a green shirt and you can just ask a teacher. How much time does it take to get to each class? Passing periods are four minutes long and it should be enough time to get to where you need to be. What is the average distance between classes at home and middle school? Some classes are closer than others, others are further, but four minutes should be enough to get where you need to be. What happens if you don't make it onto class on time? You'll be marked tardy, but the first three weeks of school, of the school year, Teachers will be more lenient because they know sixth graders are going to have a hard time finding the class. But after those three weeks, um, you should be able to find your way around and get to class on time. Have you ever been tardy? No. How long does each class last? Classes are 15 minutes long. They sometimes can be longer or shorter. What is the daily schedule at home? When you first walk in the building, you have an option to get breakfast and then you go to first, second, and third hour, and then you have a, and then you go to advisory or lunch, then you go to fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh hour, then you go home. Do you go to PE every day? Yes, but Sigma or gifted program kids go every other day. What after school clubs are available for sixth graders? It varies from year to year, although ones we've had in the past are jazz band, cooking club, STEM club, intramurals, chess club, drama club, and we have many more. Do you have to ride the bus every day? No, your parents can drive you, or if you live close enough, you can walk. Do you have to buy lunch every day? <laughs> yes, but you can bring your own, but school lunches are pretty good. Can you use your phones after you finish your work? Um, no, you cannot, but at lunch, there's a short period of time where you can be on any electronics you have, but not in class, not any anywhere else. How big is Holman? It's a little bit smaller than Drummond, but it has probably about 600 students. Can you interact with 7th and 8th graders? Yeah. Yes, you can. Some classes you have uh, with 7th and 8th graders together, but they're only electives. Do we still have recess? No, but there is an advisory where you can 
where you're not graded, but you can do like study hall and makeup assignments. Do I get to choose my locker? No, you don't because of the COVID pandemic in sixth grade, we didn't get to, but in seventh grade, there will be a locker that's assigned to you. Do we get to choose our seat at lunch? Yes, at the start of each grading period and it's permanent for six weeks. Will all sixth graders eat at the same time? Um, some of them do, but there is a sixth and seventh lunch period together and a seventh and eighth lunch together. Will there be a dress code at Holman? Yes, but it's really similar to elementary school. Will there be any dances or big events at Holman? Yes, but it depends on how COVID is next year. What other schools send their fifth graders to home? Most of the students come from Drummond and Rose Acres, although there are a handful of other kids like me who come from other schools. For instance, I came from Bridgewood. What are the food options? Um, the lunch is pretty good. It's uh, We have a chicken sandwich. We have pizza. We have General Sauce chicken. That's probably my favorite. We have nachos. Do we get to choose our classes? Um, you don't get to choose your core classes. Your teacher will recommend you, your fifth grade teacher will recommend you for like challenge math or reading or things like that. But you do get to choose your elective classes. What if you forget where your locker is? Your, your advisory teacher has your combination and your locker number, but we didn't have lockers this year because of COVID. Can we play sports if our grades aren't that good? We do have team sports on the normal year. Because of COVID, they did not have them this year. We have sports like lacrosse, uh, football, volleyball, basketball, things like that. If you have an F, you aren't kicked off the team, but you do not get to participate. Do we have desks? Yes, some classrooms have desks, but some also have tables. Do we still have field trips? We do on a normal year, but because of COVID, we did not this year. How much homework will we have? Uh, generally an hour, but I get most of my work done at school, but most likely some kids get their work done at home. What are the music classes you could take? Choir, general music, orchestra, and band. What time does school start and end? Um, the first bell is at 8, 10, and then school, the school final bell will end at 3.03. Will we be dressing out for PE? Hopefully, but it depends on COVID.